Hey guys, it's been a while. So I'm back here again in my uh, TARDIS game project and I've finally planned to release it. So with this video, there will be a link to download it. So as you can see, there's a world that you can now walk around in and there's an exterior that you can enter into the interior. I've added a few animations to the controls. Lock the doors, turn the power on, and select one of these four difficulties. Automatic being uh, no flight minigame, easy, medium, and hard, which changes the time to make it easier or hard of how long it takes until the TARDIS takes damage if you don't press the control. So, this mini game, it pulsates a blue light on a control which you have to press. Such as here. Press it in time and you continue with mini game. But if you don't press them and you go down and lose all your health of the TARDIS, which there are five points to. TARDIS will die, which makes it no longer usable. So what happens if you take damage? A loud explosion. So that's basically all I've added currently to the destruction of a TARDIS. Uh, change the interior to Capaldi. Turn on the forest of Elm. This fight in the game can be exited just by pulling the, uh, the throttle again. There's no movement of the exterior when you materialize. Isabel off. And enter manual flight. So manual flight. It's you're able to move about with the TARDIS, like so, at various speeds. And you put down the TARDIS like so. doors and here you are at your new destination. That's the only form of travel that I've implemented to this TARDIS currently. So let's go back into the vortex. got two points of health left. Once I'm down to one, the voice of hell activates and is unable to be adjusted. And once the health is at zero, TARDIS just dies. No longer usable. All you can do is exit the TARDIS. There we go. That's what I've added to that TARDIS. So far, uh, more or less. 
Uh, so these three models, this one, the exact same as this one, just the material has changed a bit because of Unreal Engine watering the material down, making it a lighter blue than the original darker blue version that it's supposed to be. And these two are my own models that I created in Blender. And uh, the plans that I've made to, that I used to create it are TARDIS man's plans that are on the TARDIS builders website. That can be found there. So, these three models, they're not just here for show. They are to show off the dematerialize and materialization animation. So as you can see they are physically here and then dematerialize and can just walk right through. Let's add a roof to the scene to make it a bit more darker and let's materialize one of them with lights on. Is this TARDIS? Man, let's get the able two in here. There's all three TARDISes. Let's take that roof off and here's another feature of these three. Uh, let's dematerialize this one and that one. Let's change up the location of them and bring them back into the world. So one of them's close by. There it is. And the other one is over there. So, uh, basically, it has a random destination selector in a radius of its current position. So, it can move wherever it wants within a certain distance of wherever it wants. So, that's that for them. 
Now to get to the bugs. So what can you expect that I know of currently? Let's reset. And this basically gives you an example of some of the bugs that you can experience in the state that it is. Because it doesn't work the exact same way as it does in the editor for some reason. So these doors, they open and close just fine on the exterior. You go inside, you close the doors on the inside, you open them. They do not change the ones on the exterior, only the interior. This is a strange bug that I'm not too sure how to fix just yet. Uh, it's also the same for the locks, so I lock the doors on the exterior and it closes and locks the doors on the inside but it doesn't do anything to the, ex in the exterior doors. It only affects these doors. Closing these doors and opening them, they affect the interior doors, as you can see. But as you can see they're closed on this one. So that's a bit of a bug. Another bug is turn on the power, turn on the cloister bell, and enter flight and then exit flight. These lights continue to spin on the top. They shouldn't be like that, but they are. Uh, that's my fault. I just need to fix that eventually. So don't pay it much attention. It works fine if you exit flight in normal state. Uh, another bug that is a bit breaking is drop uh, health bumps 20 and let the TARDIS die. So as you can see, the TARDIS is now dead. The only problem with it is, well, apart from this still running, it's just, uh, I need to fix that. Uh, if I turn the power back on, or off, I guess, turn back on, it works perfectly fine. It should not be like this at all. Not too sure why it is, so. So basically it runs as if it is on 20 health instead of a point of health instead of no health. Uh, I believe it's a bug on my part as well. But I am actually working on this, so it will eventually be fixed. But I don't intend to release that until a later date. But I hope you enjoy this, uh, bug, bugs and all, because I've enjoyed creating it. So I hope you enjoy this, and goodbye and thank you for watching.